What is up everyone, Clayton here, and today we're back with some more The Forgotten City. Today, we, uh, we're kind of a pickle. We just killed the Arbiter. The whole town is going to die by the dwarven constructs that are killing everyone uh, currently. And we must return to the lake house so that Jarl Metalis can, uh, can, uh, b -b 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 send us back in time. So we can show the Arbiter the helmet and be like, suck it noob, we knew about it the whole time so that's what we're doing currently also I do want to say that I did change one of my settings for uh, my recording on OBS so if it looks a little bit nicer make sure to tell me and if it looks shittier make sure to tell me uh, it's just a testing little thing and I I think it should make it better it's not down downscaling to 720 it should be upscaling to 1080 so hopefully hopefully it's all right, but we'll see what happens. Ben, Jesus Christ! I, I mean, this dude is like all powerful, and he can't even build like an escalator down there. Also, we did get the we put the Arbiter's Helmet on. Allows the wearer to cast continuous shock spells effortlessly, but the power is blinding. So we don't take any magic loss from it. But apparently we're going to go blind if we keep doing that. So let's not do that. And if I was a betting man, I'd bet th this will be the last episode of The Forgotten City. We should be done after this. I don't think we really have much to do. We, I think we beat it after we tell the Arbiter what for. And not the... What the fuck? Oh, alright. The tunnel closed. I'm so sorry, everyone. Everyone's dead. Oh, God. Escape. 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 There we go. Are they... Where are they escaping to? Are they escaping back in time? No? You just gotta run on the bridge? Alright. The first time we did this, Yard Mentalist was, like, running to here, but since we're down there, it took us seven years to get down there. How are you doing? I want them to be like, get out of my citadel, I'm bored of you. Stop this from happening. Once again, I was super confused that that Yarmuthless was like a bad guy and like everyone hated him. Totally thought he was gonna be like the good guy and like a good Yarl and not a giant piece of shit who has women and chains in his dungeon, you know. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh god. I put the cart in the. Oh god, I'm so sorry. Um, oh shit, let me see this guy. I'm sorry, Galvar. I've already talked to you. I've talked to you. This is the third time I've talked to you. All right. We're gonna head immediately down to the Arbiter and show him what for. I do say. Because. That guy is kind of an asshole. He is. I think he, what, what we established is that he's killed 320 some generations of people. So if each town has 20 people, and 300 times 20 would be 20 times 2 times 3 is 6. So 300 times 2 is a lot. A lot of people. You know how like people are good at math? I'm not one of those people. Alright. Oh, that's not the right. That is not the right. I don't want to... I don't want to fight anyone. And I don't want to walk all the way down. I won't die from this far, right? Hup. 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 Nope. Okay. Good to know. Hup. Hup. There we go. Oh, there's a dead body here. Burnt corpse. With bone meat on it, a meal. Maybe one of uh, these Vincent of Sindars that were trying to come down here? Because we do have Brandis that went down here with his amigo, and he died. What's up, Arbiter? Ah, and here you are. I've been waiting for you, Dovakin. You know who I am? <laughs> of course. To me. Your memories are an open tomb. 
It's so funny. To begin with, he hasn't noticed I yet. Know you have taken many lives in cold blood. Lucky guess. And what's this? I see there is a helmet in your possession. It does not belong to you. It's it's yours. It's your helmet. I'm going to take it from you after I kill you. You kill me? That is not possible. And yet, I see you speak the truth. You have come unstuck from your own time. Your presence here is unnatural. Well then, Dovahkiin, why have you returned with this grim trophy? Have you come simply to gloat of your foul deed? I want you to put the stop to the Dwarves' Law. Do you comprehend what you are asking me to do? You... you are asking me to abandon millennia of work. The very thought of it aggrieves me. And yet, you have left me with no choice, have you? If I agree, I will destroy my life's work. But if I refuse, you will destroy me. Well played, Dovahkiin. You will have your wish. Is he gonna fight me? So you'll stop this? I will stop. From this point forward, your kind will be free to live how they choose, in whatever chaos and squalor they create for themselves. I will destroy this Ethereum to ensure your kind can never exploit it. And you may all return to the world of man, should you wish. But I warn you, Dovahkiin, making these changes will create a paradox in time. Oh shit, pa time paradoxes. You here will never have taken place. I'm okay with that. What will become of you is difficult to predict. But that is the risk you have taken by interfering with the past. Now, are you ready? I'm ready to get out of here. Goodbye, Dovahkiin. Goodbye, Arbiter. Oh, that's blinding. That was a blinding light. I don't think he would be like, nah, fuck you, I'm gonna make you kill me. But he didn't. What the fuck? Holy shit, is that me? Where's my tail? I have a t what the fuck? Those racist sons of bitches didn't even put a tail on my goddamn statue? What the fuck? Alright. Oh, this is all. This is the dude that killed himself. Hey. You startled me there. Wait. I know you. You do? You're. No, that can't be right. For a moment there, I thought you were, you know, the one the statue was meant to honor. Your Ultrius? Your sister asked me to find you. Yadia! Oh, I completely forgot! I asked her to wait for me at the top of the lift, and... I guess I got so tied up in this place that I lost track of time. I'd better head back up and let her know I'm alright. Hey, um... Do you want to come with me? We can chat along the way. All right, lead the way. Great. Follow me. Let's run back up, shall we? Don't want to keep my sister waiting any longer. So, you're probably wondering what I've been doing down here. I guess it's been, what, a few days? I'll be honest. I came down here looking for a hall I could unload on the next merchant I met. I just wasn't expecting to find a thriving city. A and thriving city? This place is amazing. So, did you know Hjolmdren? that about seven years ago, they had what they called the Dwarves' Law. Apparently, there were inscriptions warning that if one person committed a crime, everyone else would pay for it. But they were all trapped in the city with no way out, so they lived in fear that someone would break the law and get them all killed. Then, one day, a strange man appeared in the city out of nowhere. That was me. They say he just walked out of the lake house. 
Like he owned the place. I do own the place. This spectacular dwarven armor. Not like the battered old stuff you see in the ruins. More miners? Dominus? Wait a minute. Like it was nothing. That was that Imperial guy that yelled at us. Called us a peasant. The ground started shaking. We'll come I think we'll come back and talk to all these people in a bit, but we'll just follow this right now. All over the city. All at the same time. And the sun under the ground. Which used to light up the entire cavern. Bursts in the flame and explodes. Oh, shit. The cavern roof opens up like the petals of a flower. And there's real for the first time in thousands of years. So of course people start wondering. Did he just walk down here and single-handedly dismantle whatever was keeping the dwarves law going? Who was he? Was he still alive? So Bro, the local scholar, goes down into the quarry to take a look. But now the whole place is empty. But all the way at the bottom, sitting alone in the darkness, is a statue of the stranger. Oddest tale I ever heard. It's a pretty odd tale. Holy shit, this it's just like a city now. Vilkus? What the f Wait, holy sh hey, I remember you. You're back. He's Jarl? This type. How have you been since the dwarves law was lifted? Can't complain, my friend. You know, not long after they executed Metellus. Metellus was executed? Was holy shit. His disappearance. They made me Jarl. Oh, no way. It's a bit of a shock, to be honest. But I guess they wanted someone who wasn't at all like Metellus. Jarl Galvar. Still sounds strange to me. And I guess I have you to thank for it. If you hadn't freed us from the dwarves' laws, Uldren could never have overthrown Metellus. So, thanks. I imagine you'll be moving on soon, but you'll always be welcome here. We even kept your chambers exactly as you left them. Noise, so he's... He's now the Jarl. So I bet everyone has some sort of backstory now. Let's see if you can find. Let's talk to her real quick. Welcome back. You've been gone a long time. How have you been since the Dwarf Law was lifted? Well, let's see. That was seven years ago? A lot has changed since then. For the better. I'm married to Gulvar now. S sorry, that's Jarl Gulfar. So they he got married finally. That's good. And how he saw you come out of the old Jarl's lake house. You gave him a real fright, though he wouldn't have showed it. I know he'd be happy to see you again. You should go and say hello if you haven't already. Alright, that's cool. Let's see who else is here. Hello oh, what the friend. f- Hello, is this a kid? I need something? Malik. Isn't that the one people's son? Hold up. We need to talk to Brawl real quick and talk to him about what the fuck happened. Up, neighbor. Made any exciting new discoveries? <laughs> the fuck he's just acting casual like nothing's happened over the last seven years. How have you been, Brawl? Wonderful, actually. Gaia and I are still researching this place, of course. But now we get to share our research with the outside world. But I must ask, what happened down there, under the city? What did you do? I met a dwemer called the Arbiter, and then I convinced him to lift the dwarves law. You convinced him, you say? Well, if it is as you say, you must be terrifyingly persuasive. I only wish I could have been there to see it. I can see that you have somewhere else to be. But perhaps one day, when you have the time, you'll let me record your story in my journal for posterity. Will do, bro. But, uh, who is this? Oh, Dooley, what's up, man? Oh, hello. Do you like my fancy new clothes? What's up, dude? You mean, after the sky opened up, and the old Yarl died, and we got a new Yarl. Yarl Gulver is like. He gave me a hug, and I need new clothes. That's good. I Bye -bye. do see... I do see Vernon over here. Let's see if he got his problem solved with Vilkus or Vicus. What can I do for you, my friend? 
How have you been since the doors law was lifted? Oh, so much better. And thank you for whatever you did down there under the city. You know what? I don't even want to know. Everyone's a bit more relaxed, including poor Orankus. He and I are... Well, we're seeing each other. Turns out... What the he's hell? He's a beautiful man once you get to know him. You know, well, it's great to see you again. I know you'll be off on your next adventure soon. Still, you'll always be welcome here, my friend. Come so... Him and Vernon are now dating. Uh, uh, okay. What's Rikus? What's up? Are you wearing better now that I know I'm not being watched anymore? Still, someone has to protect this place, and that someone is me. So you might have taken down some old dwarves or whatever, but if you start any trouble here. You're going to find yourself toe to toe with me. Still a hard, hard ass as ever, Rikus. Don't change. All right. Yes. Who's this? Hey. Miranda. I know who you are. I don't remember you. Oh, you wouldn't believe what a difference. Oh, it's made. what the? Habiba okay, this is. Finally, felt safe enough to have another son. His name's Malik, and he's six. He's oh, just that's... discovered his love for running. And fortunately, running isn't something Habik and I have to do anymore. We're safe here. I have no idea what you did to bring an end to the Dwarves' Law. But whatever it was, thank you so much. We'll never forget you. Alright, so that was their kid. I knew that they had a kid before and he was killed, but I didn't remember what... Uh, what her name was. So now I know. They have a little boy. It's cool. Rikus is now gay, which is something I didn't think would ha be happening, especially since he was a giant hobophobe and was writing threatening letters to Vernon. But all right. All right. So apparently, instead of being a giant hole in the ground, there's a lift to the Forgotten Ruins. Are you ready to go up, man? I think I broke it. There we go. Altrius, there you are. Thank the gods you're all right. What kept you so long? I know, I know. Sorry, Cass. I lost track of time again. It's just that this city is so amazing. You have to come down with me and see it for yourself. I promise. It's perfectly safe. Well, all right. But first, let me thank our friend. You're welcome. Now, I promised you. <laughs> she didn't really say anything to me, but alright. This is something I always carry with me, and it's become very dear to me. I'd like you to have it. Thanks right. again. My brother and I are in your debt. So we got the silver t talisman of sil silver tongue. Prices are 17% better, and vendors will buy stolen items. That's pretty good. So I guess that's the end of it. The end of this Let's Play. We've done everything. We beat the Dwarves' Law. And we saved our brother. And we... We saved a whole town of people. So, I might make another episode. Um, if you guys want to see some of the other endings. Because I know there's one that I tried to do, but it failed. But I did it off-screen. And uh, maybe go talk to all the people that were down there uh, when the city has been rebuilt and see what their stories are about. If that's something you guys are interested, make sure, if that's something you're interested in, make sure to leave a like on this. Tell me down in the comments and uh, everything else. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this Let's Play. Uh, make sure to give the uh, creator some props and all that stuff. He's a good guy. The mod author actually commented on one of my first videos, so... If you guys go back to that video, I might put his name up here on screen. Make sure to thank him for uh, this awesome mod. And, uh, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. And it's Clayton. Signing out.